How's it going YouTube? In today's video, we're going to be doing a guide on AP Virus. We're going to be talking about his runes, build, his early game, and of course, his mid to late game, and some tips and tricks along the way. I do hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you like and subscribe to the video, and enjoy. <laughs> Alright, let's get into the runes for AP Virus. So, for my rune page is, I love running Halo Blades. So one of the main reasons why we love Halo Blades is because it gives us 110% attack speed for our next three autos, letting us apply the Blight stack, which is pretty much the core fundamental of AP Virus. It is to apply the stacks as fast as possible so we can proc it. And for our next rune, we are running Cheap Shot. The other rune that you can possibly run is Taste of Blood. Taste of Blood is a really nice sustain in the early game. Since we do struggle a decent bit with the early game, it is a nice way to keep healthy in the lane or you can run cheap shot if you want as much damage as possible your e applies cheap shot and your ultimate applies cheap shot so really easy ways to proc it in laning phase not too hard um the next one is just eyeball collector this gives us up to 30 ap which is really nice especially with how hard scaling our ultimate and our w is just getting as much ap as possible is such a great way or you can run zombie award zombie award does pretty much the same thing but instead of kills it does it for uh, killing wards for our final uh, rune it is going to be ultimate hunter there is another rune you can possibly run it is called treasure hunter this allows us to snowball and get past our hardship in the early game to get to our first core item if not of course ultimate hunter is great because our entire kit kind of revolves around our ultimate so the faster your ultimate comes up the nicer it is um, as for our final uh, sets of runes we have the sorcery page and we're gonna go absolute focus and gathering storm. You pretty much want as much AP as possible because your W and R scale so high off the AP ratios that just having as much AP as possible is gonna, of course, give you a crap ton of damage and you're gonna be doing like 70% of people's health in literally no time. Um, as for the final ones, we have attack speed, adaptive, and um, base health. If you're facing an AD champion, of course, you can go armor. If you're facing a heavy AP champion, you can, go, of course, go MR. But scaling health is just a nice uh, one to run if you don't know who you're going to be facing. All right, let's get into the build for AP Virus. So my starting item is, of course, just going to be Doran's Ring. I normally start W. This gives me the extra health, bonus AP, really good mana regen, and, of course, allows me to uh, get the five extra bonus physical damage against Minion. Just a great all-around item uh, for the early game. Helps us with sustains really nice. So our first item that we're going to be building for AP Virus is Nashers. We're not going to go into a mythic just yet. The main reason we want to go into Nashers is, of course, for the attack speed and the raw 100 AP damage, plus the on-hit effect. It's just a great item for AP Virus all around. It lets us apply our, our Blight Sack as fast as possible, gives us extra on-hit damage, plus with our Blight on-hit effect, it stacks up quite nice really fast. It's just hands down one of the best items you can get for AP Virus. Now, as for our second item, you can either go between one and two i normally love just going straight into death cap just because like i said rr and w scale so highly based on ap that uh random and death cap is just a amazing like one of the highest ap items you can get in the game so it's almost uh uh no question about it for my mythic after the death cap i actually go straight into a Everfrost. So the main reason why we want to go Everfrost instead of Ludens, instead of Leandres, instead of Riftmaker is for the reason of survivability. One of the biggest downsides for AP Virus is he's incredibly squishy, incredibly immobile, and of course this kind of solves some of our issues saying that well, like one, we get more health, we get 250 health which increases our survivability and gives us some kind of peel. We do have our ultimate with uh, to help us peel but sometimes that's just not enough so the active of uh, the Everfrost is just amazing to have. Then of course along the way, depending on how the game's going, I do really like getting a Magi Soul Stealer. If you are having trouble with the survivability, you can of course go Hourglass instead just to keep you alive. Just because like I said, you are so immobile, so easily caught out that Hourglass is just maybe a necessity to survive. For our boots, we are just going to go Magic Pen Boots. Uh, you can of course go Attack Speed Boots if you like. 
Um, it's kind of up to you if you like applying a more attack speed to apply your blight stacks or if you just want the raw damage magic pen boots is the way to go and of course like I said if you're not going uh, mage eye soul stealer you can either go void staff if they're just building a lot of MR if they're not uh, building a lot of MR I just like to go uh the Shadow Flame just for the raw 100 AP. Of course, you do get some magic pen along the way, but that's kind of, like I said, what I like to go. So if I'm being really greedy, if I want as much damage as possible, this is going to be kind of my core build right here with these five items. Six item with boots, but if, like I said, if you need some defensive, I wouldn't go uh, Mage Eye Soul Sealer. I would just go um, Hourglass. So let's talk about AP Virus' early game. So AP Virus early game is actually quite weak. We are of course very immobile, very squishy of a champion, and we don't really do that much damage until we really start getting the AP of our Nasher. So our primary goal is to get to Nasher's as fast as possible. So what are you gonna do? So the primary goal in this landing phase is to do very small and quick trades. You don't wanna do extended trades. And you really just want to farm. Once you get to your first item, once you get to level 6, that's what it really is when you want to take a lot more aggressive trades. I'm not telling you you can't take trades. I'm just telling you to take small trades because you're just with the AP. You're not going to deal that much damage with your autos until you get your first item. So AP Virus is very prone to ganks and all-in champions like Zed, Kiana, people who are extremely mobile who can get to you. So you do need to make sure on how you're controlling your wave. You do want to try to keep your wave on your side of the field because if you push into their tower, more than likely you're going to get ganked and you're such a slow champion that you're just going to get run down and you're going to die every single time. So do make sure you try to control your wave on your side of the field rather push than pushing into their tower. So AP Varus in teamfights, how do you want it played exactly? So the great thing about Varus is he does percent max health damage. So you really want to play Varus like an AD carry. You want to play in the back line. You want to attack only the closest target. You don't need to kill their squishes because you're so great at killing tanks. So, and you want to be peeled. You want to have someone in the back line trying to peel people off you. So all you want to do in team fight is throw out your ultimate the second a team fight erupts. And every time you see three blight stacks on a enemy champion, you want to throw out a max charge Q or an E if your Q's off cooldown. And you just want to kite back. You don't want to dive into their team. Just play it slow because you do melt their tanks. I do hope you guys enjoyed the guide video. If there's anything I can improve on, make sure you guys let me know how I can down in the comments down below. I do greatly appreciate all you guys' input. I read every single one of them. Without further ado, make sure you like and subscribe to the video, and have a great day. Sometimes you just gotta believe There's something that'll give you relief There's something that'll have what you need What you need We're broken, it's tragic We're not all elastic But maybe there's magic Believe you could have it And I know of sadness The anxious and